They've been working hard. Uh, we, uh, every day, you know, we've had like a different call that we've been working on, and they've been picking that up pretty good. Uh, the one thing I'm trying to uh, yeah, get them to do is talk more. Uh, you know, we're not on the same page all the time as far as, and it pretty much starts with my guys as far as just knowing what they're doing and being on the same page on the back. Now you talked a lot about the fundamentals and doing the little things right. Have you seen progress there? A lot better. Uh, I mean, to me, it always starts with, you know, tackling, coverage, and all that type of stuff. So, uh, for for uh, for us as a defense, you know, we work on that every day, and you know, we're 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 getting. Uh, it wasn't there the first day like how we wanted, but as as we keep going, uh, it's starting to get better and better. You made it very clear on the first day. Hey, I don't know where this great talk's coming from. We got a lot of work to do. I mean, have you sensed from the group kind of a, a focus, kind of a mentality yeah. that you're looking for? Yeah, and and uh, going back, you know what I said, and I should take that back. I'm not saying I don't care what you guys think, right? Because I like you guys. <laughs> so let me take that back and say that I do care what you guys think. But what I'm talking about is when you're dealing with an 18, 19, 20, 21 year old, and they're reading. Uh, you know how good they are and how good they're going to be. That's the stuff that I need to get them away and get them to come and work every day. You know, so that's the main thing is that if we can keep the outside out as far as you know how good we're supposed to be, or you know, of course as a coach I want us to be good, I want us to be great, but at the same time that takes uh, steps to get there. Right, you just can't show up on the field and say we're great. Right, you have to show it on the football field. So to me, that starts every day as far as showing up, you know, when you're a little tired, uh, or you're a little sore, you know, you don't feel like going, uh, actually just being there every day, you know, to work. And you've seen that so far from the group? They're getting better. You know, like I said, I don't know if I would ever say that we're great if we're there, mm -hmm. you know, because as a coach, I don't think, if we're ever great and we've arrived and I don't need to come to work and I never feel like I can just stay home. So they're getting better. They're working hard. You know, uh, you know, the one thing in camp that you never want is for either side of the ball and, uh, you know, they for it to be all offense, and then we look bad for it to be all all defense. So, you know, uh, we're going up against an offense that I think is pretty good every day, you know. And so, they, uh, you know, we challenge them, they challenge us, and I think we're improving. What well, can you those, take? Shuffle those safeties around a little bit, I guess. What, who's playing where at this point, and how are those kind of battles shaping up in those spots? Uh, your nickels are uh, Chancellor James, Percy Maston, your free safety. Marion Thompson, uh, Cam Hartsfield, your boundary safety is Ellen Sumner Garner and Cam Miles, and all those are still open. Which, uh, you know, what have you seen on the nickel job? It's you know, been, been kind of an important thing to fill. What have you seen out of that race between Chancellor and Mercy? And what, what are you kind of looking for for that spot? A playmaker, who's, you know, who's going to make the most plays, you know, because that's, to me, that spot is the key to our defense because that's a guy that can help us out on the run. And, uh, on the patch, you know, they have to be able to cover, uh, you know, they have to be able to blitz, uh, <laughs> fill the gap on the run. So, who's ever going to win that race, I think, has to, has to do it all. Yeah, let's bring you a cam there and move him back to, to back to safety. Yeah. What, what made the difference there? Well, because we didn't have Pastor James in the spring, right? So now he's back now. And, uh, you know, we got more depth, we feel like. But it's still a race. I mean, all those spots are open. Uh, the clear cut favorite, I'd probably say just free safety. You know, Thompson is clear cut phrase there. You know, that's pretty clear. But everything else, I think, is wide open. What do you like about Chance at, at that position? I mean, he played a little bit before, but what do you like about the fit there with him? You know, he's a big body. Uh, he was smart. Master James is one of the one of the smartest football players I've ever been around. You know, he watches a ton of film. He asks you questions. He comes in all the time. If he doesn't, I mean. He's in somebody's office. If he's not in my office, he's in Coach Avalos' office. If he's not in Coach Avalos' office, he's in Coach Drinkman's office. So, he, you, you know, he's in Coach Brown's office. So he's always in somebody's office. You know, he's just a guy that's just thirsty to just learn. And uh, if he does something wrong, he wants to get it right. He goes about the offensive coaches too. Exactly. <laughs> Which is great. You know, you want guys that want to learn. Uh, you know, they want to get better. So. Uh, Mercy obviously also playing that position, coming back off an injury. How, right. how, how's he, you know, done coming back this year? You know, he's playing well too. Uh, uh, for him being uh, a senior, uh, you know, he wants to play. Uh, he wants to start. You know, so that position, I think, is it, it's to me that is a great battle. Uh, you know, the battle will continue, and we'll see what these next. I mean, these next few weeks, you know, who 
will be aware of that spot. How has Dylan done? Uh, you know, it came off a good spring. We had a great opportunity with right. the depth issues, and, right. and now more competition yeah. back there. Right. How, how, what are you seeing out of him this fall? He's the same way. Uh, as far as his play, you know, he's getting better on technique and uh, you know his eyes and stuff like that. But he, uh, he still needs he, he still needs to get a better understanding of the game. You know, the one thing like for a guy like uh, Ashley James, all those guys are vets. They understand why I'm calling stuff. They understand the strength of the defense. They understand the weakness. So he's still trying to get that feel for why he's doing certain stuff. You know, and the more he the more he goes, and the more uh, you know I call stuff, and the more we talk to each other, he's getting better. Because the truth is, we're playing a team that it's going to be their first game, and they're going to have something new. You know, they're going to bring some new play, some new type of offense that we haven't seen on film. So our guys have to be. I mean, you can't just say, okay, we're going off of what they did versus the last opponent. You know, uh, so we're going to have to be ready, have good eyes, and uh, for our job. Uh, Cam Miles, you said you know, he's, already, he's already played two positions coming as a right. JC guy. Right. Has that been a challenge for him, or is he no, he's pretty learning. He's flexible growing. there? You know, he's growing too. You know, like I said, the best thing you can have is, as a coach is when you have two guys that are pushing for the same spot because that kind of handles itself as far as, uh, you know, they're each going to head out there uh, uh, and get better. You know, so that's a spot, like I said, Dylan Summer Gardner is not the locked in starter. It's between him and Cat and Miles, so they're going to continue to battle, and we'll see who wins that spot. So it makes my job a lot easier. Coach, in Talk general, how, would you, uh, how do you assess your depth of your team? A lot better than last year, that's for sure. <laughs> you know, so, but I keep saying this. I mean, this game, I mean, we can go out and scrimmage uh, on Friday and have some injuries, and it can go from having depth to not having any depth. So, you know, as of right now, it's pretty good. You know, it's not great. Uh, but uh, injuries are going to happen. And so if we can stay injury free, right, we can be pretty good. I think. But it can change so fast. You talked about the explosive plays a lot and trying to limit that. I think it was eight right. touchdowns and at least 50 yards last year. And yes. I know 30 plus yard plays were, were you guys near the bottom. What, right. how, what happened last year and how, how, you know, why <laughs> were you guys not good in that area and how do you get better there? Uh, <laughs> once again, I think it's, it comes to the back end as far as us being on the same page. Because a few of those, you know, you think back, it's, this guy's wide open, and that's my pet peeve. I mean, if we're going to make them, I mean, the key when you look at when you make an offense drive the field, you know, their percentage is going to go down from scoring. So if you give those explosive plays, those one or two plays, and then they score, right, that makes it a lot easier for them. So our thing is we've got to be on the same page on the back end, make them earn it. If they beat us man to man because the guy just makes a play, I can live with that. I don't want it to happen. All right, but I can live with that. But having guys wide open, right, because we're not on the same page, it needs to be. So you saw more of that where we just missed yeah. blown coverages, blown coverages. Like yeah, stuff like that. You know, those option teams too. Also, mm -hmm. I bet you probably ten of them were against. Uh, <laughs> New Mexico, right, the low balls, so. <laughs> The one play you don't have depth of this corner, how have you seen the development of those young guys who are trying to get, get some depth out of? They're getting better. <laughs> you know, to me, if there's a certain position where you can play them on the young as a corner, because it's not like they have to be, you know, real big. So uh, when you look at the history of this place, we've had a lot of guys that play at a young age here. So just going from that, you know, I think they're getting better. Chris. Hartsfield, when we were talking about safety, I heard he's, he kind of stepped up this year. Every safety. Make his progress for yeah. yeah, so he's a guy that can play, you know, he can play safety for us, he can play nickel, he can play corner, so he's kind of a guy that can do both. Cam Miles, like you said earlier, he's a guy that can play longer safety for us or nickel, so we kind of have some pieces where we can put, you know, at certain spots to help us out. You get uh, the first game you go against your mentor and, and guys that gave you, you know, very big breaks in this business. Well, right. What, what's that going to be like for you to line up there against well, Peterson and Kukowski? Well, mentors guys? aren't playing, so <laughs> what we need to do is the guys that we're mentoring now, I guess the guy that if we can get the guys we're mentoring now to be the best they can be, then, you know, we'll see. But, you know, that's the thing I'm trying to stay away from. You know, it's weird because uh, we talk, but we can't talk right now because of this game. And, you know, I was talking to Pete uh, at one point, you know, he was talking about he can't wait for this game to be over so we can just, uh, you know, we can be friends again. But, you know, it's a, it's a football game. They want to win, right? And we want to win. So, you know, uh, uh, it's a game. 
we'll see. When do you go into Washington prep? Is it is it now? Is it a week before the game? I guess when do you start worrying about the opponent rather than yourself? That's top secret. I can tell oh. you. <laughs> I can tell you when you start preparing tomorrow. It might have been already, but you will be ready. You mentioned New Mexico. Are you guys doing any uh, option through camp just to get, or is that too late in the season? To yes, we worked on some option through camp. Okay. Is that yeah. different, or did you do it last year? Or? We didn't do it last year, okay. but we did it this year. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. That's what's on there.